Hello everyone, we got fabulous news. First thing I would like to begin announcing that I am going to Utah Comic Con at Salt Lake City. Yep, that'll be from, I believe is the 4th to the 6th of September. And I'm also spending a few additional days in Utah to, well, enjoy some off time. Now, I've only been to one convention in Florida and New York Comic Con, so this will be different. Now, I have been to Utah once to visit a friend, and I will be hanging out with that friend again That, so that'll be cool. So, I'm actually going to legitimately try to do a cosplay at this convention, too. I want to actually make a proper shield out of this. Uh, it is currently just being held on by tape on the back of that, but I will be... Fixing that to be more appropriate, and I want to put a design on here. And I am actually looking into making sure I properly measure my body, and hopefully to get a actual outfit. Hopefully. That's all still in the planning stage, which is slowly running out of time. Anyway, pickups, pickups, besides that. Oh, and yeah, Christopher Lloyd's going to be there. And, oh, there's no way I can... Pass up the opportunity to get him to sign my copy of Toonstruck. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing it just to see if he even knows what this was anymore. You know, I, I could blame him if he doesn't remember it, but um, it'll be curious. But uh, yes, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Yeah. Christopher Lloyd's awesome. But anyway, some pickups. The Monkey King for the Wii I got at... GameStop's little bin thing for a buck. I also got a copy of Big Bang Mini for the DS also for like two bucks. And of course, I had long pre-ordered One Piece Unlimited World R, which is supposed to be stand for WED. I will be actually having a first impressions of this up soon. So look for that. It has a lot of a very nice impressions on me. And I have a crap load of imports I got. So first thing, I got five PSP imports. That were, four of them were new and one was used. Uh, the used one was Record of the August War Marriage, which is the only Record of the August War game that hasn't came to America. And it probably never will because of scenes in it that go way beyond even what the other games do. I know, that's hard to imagine. Uh, concept 1 for the PSP, um, I have done a video already talking about that and that should be coming out sometime. Uh, this particular character should look familiar to anyone who's familiar with Ju Wario. And I have to say, the PSP version is horribly flawed. I was expecting that, but it was far even more than I even expected. Definitely getting the DS version now, because it's funny that even though the PSP version is regarded very broken, even to the Japanese audience, of course, it's still intriguing to me. So, you know, getting a superior, good walking version, and especially since the DS version is the Super Nintendo in the PlayStation 1 version, which is what that's based on, but uses a different physics engine because it didn't have the original team involved with it. So it's really a mixed bag, that version. But I have some enjoyment in it. What did I do to dissolve this, my lord, 3D? Sporting his 3D glasses there. And 7th Dragon 2020, and I haven't tried this one yet, and I just got on the fly. I also got a PS3 import, Wayne, which has a, phys a limited physical version in Japan. Uh, this did come out in America only as digital, so, you know, me, I always like getting a physical version most of the time, so I grabbed that. Uh, I also, on my scrounging around digging up stuff I found a copy of Namco Museum Volume 3 I've been wanting one of the museum games so I could get uh, the Tower of Dagua which is an arcade game that only came out in Japan in its original form and I got Disciples 2 Golden which apparently comes with a bunch of expansion stuff in that that I also found in the wild 
is what we got as new pickups. Now, I don't know if any of my viewers at all are going to be attending the Utah Comic Con. I've never met any of my viewers at Comic Con before yet, so don't know. But you know, I keep getting a few new viewers each month, year, yeah. So you never know, it'd be cool one day if somebody's like, oh my goodness, that would just shock me. But yeah, I'm going to Utah Comic Con in Salt Lake City. So, you know, if you have any plans of that, give me a shout. You know, I I have no problem going out to hang out, meet or something, yeah. Or just at least say hi, you know. I don't have a problem with that. I'm definitely going to have fun. So, you know, if you plan on going or that, you know, let me know. I... I have no problem going and say hi or something, you know. Aside from that, um, I have Shovel Knight finished, and I am getting on a review made of that. That's also being worked on with the, uh, the One Piece game. Those are both being made right now. And so, in Shovel Knight, I think I'm going to squeeze Persona 4 Wiener in its place since I had just started. So I might as well do that, and I can again, you know... Keep walking on the other two games. I've been keep on blah blah blah. blah that I'm trying to do. <laughs> so I think that I kind of walk out. Have Persona 4 Wing and Shovel Knight, and then as Shovel Knight ends, kind of squeeze that. And, and I am going to get some more Dark Souls. And I know the DLC is going to be coming out soon. And admittedly, I'm pretty questionable on whether or not I want to get the DLC or not. I mean, I want to do it at some point in time, but I'm not sure if I want to buy it now, and then if there's some kind of physical version with the stuff, then we buy it. I mean, I wouldn't be totally against that, but then again, you know, I will well, probably wait to see if there's a kind of physical thing. And then there's a rumor. There's a rumor right now, and it's not shocking. I, I, it was only a matter of time before it started. Uh, that there might be plans for Dark Souls 2 on the PS4 and Xbox One. And that's not shocking to hear rumors of. But confirmation is a different thing. Now if that actually turned out to be true. The odds are that would be probably after all the DLC. Or when the last DLC releases. And if that's the case. Most likely all the DLC will be on those as complete. So I could get the next gen version with everything possibly. If the one will turn out to be true. So you... But you know that would still involve we buying the game again. So you know not... But, I mean, I always did that anyway with Dark Souls 1, so... Uh, but... I I would wait to have some kind of physical version of it or something like that, so... I'm probably going to end up waiting a little bit before I do the DLC. But then again, I might just cave into it. I don't know. I wouldn't feel as bad doing it if I had a big old PS3 hard drive, but I only have a 40 gig, and you know, you think that would be enough, but oh dear lord, no, it's not even a fraction. It's like space dust in today's industry. But, that's a whole different subject. So anyway, um, you know, if anyone out there is planning on going to Utah, Salt Lake City, in Comic Con, let me know. I, I would be interested. Uh, as for what I'm going to attempt to do as a cosplay, well, I'm not going to really tell you, but I'll give you a hint. It's not solely a exactly a character. It's going to be kind of a conjointed idea, kind of. But, or it might, you know. I, I have three ideas, so... It's something you'll just have to wait for if it ever happens. On a last note, you know, as I said, I've been to Utah before and hung out with my friend Matt. And he also was on the recent Jolly Good Time with that nice guy. But you might wonder, I went there, but I never had any footage come up of that trip. And you know what's funny? I have that footage still of stuff I did there. But I kind of never got around to really 
processing the videos, changing them to where I can edit them and stuff. And that's something I'm meaning to do, actually. But, note, those videos were actually bad quality for the most part, because that was before I had my camcorder that you see now. Those videos were recorded with my mom's laptop, which is now mine, actually. She just gave it to me, because it's a piece of junk anyway. It's only good for just getting minimal internet access at a very slow weight, but at least it's better than nothing. And, you know, gives you a little computer access to something, at least. But, <laughs> it's not a good laptop, sadly. But, but yeah, I, I have those videos still. And I've been meaning to do something with them. So, you know, I might get those kind of ready to do something with them. They, they are old, and they are not incredibly good quality, but it's a little of my original Utah Adventures, which hopefully my second outing in Utah Adventures will be more interesting. Also, I, I definitely gotta record this since, since I'm going back to Utah. One of the few things I did talk about when I went to Utah was a store called the Grey Whale Entertainment, where I bought this game that actually some jackass changed out the actual game in it with perfect dark. Motherfuckers. Well, I still have the receipt for this game on here. $7.99. And I never got to return it because, well, they're in Utah. Though they only give you like a month or something. Let's see. Again, for three days of that. I'll be curious to see how nice they are. Because I actually gave them lots of recommendations. I praised them a lot as being a really good store. So let's see how, how far and beyond they might go for customer service here. Because I still have the receipt in the game here. So... We can see what happens. It's funny. Let's see. When was this? In 8 slash 2012. Man. That's been a while. That's been quite a while. Well, I can see if they might take it. I don't know if they will or if they won't. But, you know, it's worth asking. I definitely think they will put a nice place. So I definitely look forward to seeing that. So for that. I don't really have much else to add. Oh, wait. Somebody did ask me, um, am I planning on doing, and I know I briefly commented on it already, uh, the Dragon God 3 DLC, now that all the stories are out and everything and that. And I do technically own the one uh, for uh, one. So, uh, do I plan on getting those? Uh, probably eventually. I, those, I... I don't think there's going to be a physical version with the DLC on for Dragon God 3, considering it's uh, poor reviews and such, and not saying they're not unjustly. I mean, it's, it's a very mixed feeling game, so I'm not really expecting those to really get a special version, but that could be possible. But if that does, it's going to be a Japan only, so that's going to involve importing anyway. America is totally not going to get a complete version with the DLC. If anyone is, it's going to be Japan. So I will probably look into playing those at some point. But if it's going to be really soon, I don't know. I'm considering, considering, let's stay on the same page, I'm considering uh, doing Dragon God two when sometime, you know, like I said. And when I get that done to move on to Dragon God three and do the main campaign again with new insight in that and then all the little add ons and that's an idea I've been putting around in my head, so if you think that idea sounds good because I don't think my live stream videos turned out very well, um, the audio was pretty everywhere really with it. And I don't get as much control as I do in my editing. So, I think I think that's a nice idea for that. So, that's my thoughts there. You know, feel free to throw some feedback down below if you want. But, yeah. So, for that, that nothing really new. Except for this, uh, fatty bell invading my fucking... No, I'm just kidding. But, um, not, not much else going on in that. So, 
that's everything I got planned that what's coming up and what's going on with the channel and that everything's been going good still looking forward to some Wii U games coming out soon hopefully oh yeah can't wait for some of those Whew. and yeah that's it so to lose and yes I have pre-ordered the next two Persona games uh, I don't think they've announced a date for um, dancing all night yet for that though. But I got Q and the next Wiener game both pre-ordered. The special versions and that that come with the goodies and that. We gotta have those cards in there. Ho ho ho. Anyway. I'll see you all next time. If you have any questions or anything, you know, feel free to leave them down below. And I hopefully hope can see somebody at Comic-Con.